Good night, fellow punters. The clock on the wall says 8.30 on Monday night, uh, the 9th of January. Um, back with a couple of for tomorrow. Um, the rain played hell today in places. We had two run and one non-runner. Uh, Lady Adair, uh, she must act. I only heard the two of them on the phone. Um, I have a new run in the afternoon now, bringing, and in the morning as well bringing seven or eight Ukrainian kids from Roscommon Town out to Craig's National School, which is 17 or 18 kilometres in Kundanagalyeva. It's actually across the Roscommon border into Galway. So that has been landed on me. So uh, it's put an extra hour and a half in the evening. I've done it for a few months. Um, so uh, I was listening to it on the phone. Lady Adair Shmushta had act up before the race and didn't act on the ground um which is a bit disappointing of a run i think from her and the ground went against the horse and the bumper as well um and that's why i'm a bit later because i was looking at ground dependent horses tomorrow and i came up with uh two at exeter um and i've won at Southern as well um in the 315 at exeter we actually have a bus horse here Favori de Savola, but it has won. I know it was it won it. It, it was a stamina uh, race the last. It was three miles six, but all its runs has been on good ground, good to soft, good to soft, and it won on good to soft the last day. Jane Williams is going all right, but the horse that I came down on, I, we can put it in it maybe in a reverse forecast. Is Equus Dreamer uh, for. Uh, Kim Bailey. It's lightly raced. It has only ran seven times. Now it has won only once. But I was impressed with its last run. If you go back and look at the video of that, it never touched a twig of any fence in the entire race. Um, it has won on soft ground in Hereford uh, before, but it, it, it has been second to Bavington Bob on heavy ground in Carlisle last February. Then it didn't run again until November. But uh, it it ran pretty well uh, in that race. It it uh, it only got tired late. Uh, it shows that it was beaten eleven lengths. But going to the second last, it was you could have you know you would know known whether it was going to win or not. Uh, the other ones had uh, a bit of fitness on them. So I have uh, I thought that one tomorrow. It, it's a front runner. It's a big strong horse. Uh, seven to two chance. Um, People that won a few pounds on Favori de Civil of the last year might do a reverse forecast. And at the 345, I'm going against another bus horse, uh, Fanferendino. It won for us last March, I think. Um, but it's it's lightly raced enough as well, uh, similar to the other one. But uh, all it's, all it's uh, good to soft, good. Now, it did run on heavy a couple of times, and it actually... If I remember correctly, it won off 87 on heavy, but in Utoxeter. But it's rated 100 now, it's different gravy. And uh, I thought Mac the Man, it opened at sixes a while ago. Um, this runs better on with cut on the ground, and it had a pipe opener first run of the year. Um, and it only got tired coming to the second last. But it, this is real good back form, it's only a nine year old. Um, would you believe this horse beat Protectorate uh, way back in a listed handicap hurdle? It was on heavy ground in December 2019. It's over three years ago. But um, it won in Exeter before uh, of 127. And it's down now to, I think it's 118. 118, yeah. Uh, course and distance winner out of Flemsford likes a bit of cut and I thought them two tomorrow uh, going against our bus horses uh, I'll be, I, I could be shot for it but um, and then in the 7 o'clock at uh, Suddle this is a class 3 we have uh, Spirit of Ingaru all this horse's run, runs has all been at 7 furlongs bar 1 and I always say that seven furlongs is sort of a specialist distance um, and you're either good at it or you're not. 
it won in Kempton twice and then it had a good run the last day um, in Wolverhampton uh, to Witch Hunter um, and Haggis is going well he has two out of his last five that's 40% uh, strike rate Street Kid beginning to up the ante once again and moved on by a length to Witch Hunter. Diocles of Rome is third. Masters Ophony round the outside of Spirit of Nguru then follows Amber Island off the home turn. A furlong and a half to go and Street Kid leads them in with a length and a half break on Witch Hunter. Spirit of Nguru running third. Masters Ophony Amber Island running on. Witch Hunter's got past. Street Kid heading inside the final furlong. It's Witch Hunter. Spirit of Nguru now giving chase but Witch Hunter is going to hold on Witch Hunter from Spirit of Nguru Amber Island it has head up in there there I thought he was holding a bit back the cheek pieces um, he, has, he had on the last day seemed to improve him a bit but um, Haggis is going alright Farahar actually has taken off 3 so that's bringing him down to 85 uh, only a 4 year old lightly enough raised and Haggis going alright I thought they were three for tomorrow. Um, that was to say for something different. Um, when I was in Croke Park yesterday, I went out to the toilets, or in America to say go out to the bathroom, or some says out to the loo, or out to the jacks, or as an old timer used to say one time when, when, uh, when I started off drinking first in my teens, late teens, when he was going to the bathroom or toilet, he used to say, I'm going out to shake hands with my best friend. A uh, good character. And he was in his 80s at that time. But um, I met a person yesterday and they said uh, that they followed the channel and they heard me singing a few times. And uh, they asked me that uh, there was a person close to them that needed a bit of a boost. And they knew sort of maybe that if I sang a particular song, it might help. So I said I might, so I will. Um, everyone needs a boost now and again. I needed one last week and I got it. Um, so if you, it's a country and western classic. If you know the song, um, why don't you sing along and help that person um, give them a boost. And if you don't, just maybe tip your feet or whatever anyway. I hope I can do it, self, do it justice that I don't make a, a hard ex out of it. Uh, <clears throat> Buzzed at flat and Baton Rouge and heading for the train Feeling nearly faded as my jeans Bobby thumbed a diesel down just before it rained Took us all the way to New Orleans Oh, I took my harpoon out of my dirty red bandana. I was blue and sad while Bobby sang the blues. With them windshield wipers slapping time and Bobby clapping hands, we finally sang up every song that driver knew. Freedom's just another word for nothing's left to lose. Nothing ain't worth nothing, but it's free. Feeling good was easy, Lord, when Bobby sang the blues. Feeling good was good enough for me. Good enough for me and Bobby McGee. From the coal mines of Kentucky to the California sun Bobby shared the secrets of my soul Standing right beside me, Lord, through everything i done Every night she kept me from the cold Then somewhere near Salinas, Lord, I let her slip away Looking for a home I hope she'll find 
And I'll trade all my tomorrows for a single yesterday Holding Bobby's body next to mine Freedom's just another word for nothing's left to lose Nothing left is all she left for me Feeling good was easy, Lord, when Bobby sang the blues. Booty that was good enough for me. A good enough for me and Bobby McGee. Latin da, Latin da 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 da. A Latin da da da. A Latin da da me and Bobby McGee. Latin da, Latin da 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 da. Latin da da da, Latin da da, me and Bobby McGee. Now, if you like that or enjoyed it, like the video and any newcomers subscribe. And I'll go through all the new people that got on the bus the last few days and I'll have them up hopefully tomorrow night. Bash the bookies over and out.